Ooh, okay, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. I literally just got off a FaceTime call with my and her kids. <laughs> my little cousin thought Walmart and McDonald's were closed because of quarantine. I told him no, they've been open this whole time, so he's excited to come over and finally get to go there. Um, but anyway, this is my movie review for the movie Lovebirds. Now, this was originally supposed to premiere by South by Southwest and then go into theaters. So however, the world basically went on pause and Netflix picked it up. This is about a interracial couple, um, Leilani and Jahir. And basically, they get caught into a whirlwind night of crime and they basically have to clear their names. So I'm not going to spoil it. Um, just my overall thoughts. I... You know, wanted to give us a chance. I watched it yesterday, and I laughed. You know, I really laughed. I thought it was going to be like that buddy comedy, like Date Night with like um, Tina Fey and Steve Carell, but this is way more funnier. The, the twist just keeps like one after the other. You don't know where the story's going. You don't know if they're going to make it. You don't know if someone's going to get shot or someone's going to fall into like a lake. Like, I don't. It had me like, okay, is this really going to happen? Like, the ridiculousness made it more funny. And I was just like, y'all had me worried, and now you have me laughing. <laughs> it was just so good. Also, Kumana and Issa, they're just a great um, combination for an on-screen couple. Like, they are basically, they make it serious, but then they have their funny moments. And just the overall personalities of these characters you have... Leilani, who's more of just a free-spirited person, but then you have Jahir, where he's more, like, structured, and you have them kind of clash in the beginning of the movie, and then during this whole experience, they basically have to work together to basically try and get out of this. Like, the action in this is just really funny and just really cool, and then you have, you know, slight comedy. You have that slight racial comedy in there where it's like, Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's such a true thing, and I'm kind of laughing at it because I can relate to this. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I imagine kind of seeing this in theaters, and it looks like a movie meant for the theater. And, you know, I'm, I'm really glad Netflix picked up this movie because, really, it deserves to be seen. Like, it, it's not a direct-to-DVD movie. It's, like, a movie you got to see, like, on screen. And I'm glad they picked it up, and it's having positive response. I don't know if they're expecting a sequel, but I think with, if the numbers turn out good and people respond to it well, then we might hear about possible, you know, whisperings of a sequel, maybe within the next couple of months. I know people are on pause and trying to get back to work in Hollywood. I know people are trying to get back in, but um, maybe once things are like settled in, when we might hear possibilities of a sequel. But, yeah, for my overall rating, I give this movie, like, a 9 out of 10 overall. Just the one point off, just because, you know, the build-up was kind of slow in the half, first half, and then the second half is kind of like, now we're in the action part. But anyway, that's my, like, short review of The Lovebirds. Let me know in the comments what you want me to review next. I am reviewing the next couple of series. I'm reviewing Blood and Water that's going to go up tonight. This week, I'm reviewing Control Z and the Outer Banks. Um, next week, yeah, next week June starts. Oh my god, we're in summer. My goodness. <laughs> this year is just going by so quick. But I am definitely, um, once June starts, I'm reviewing, um, the final season of 13 Reasons Why. So that review is going to be up, you know, probably, it comes out that Friday, so it's going to be up probably on Sunday. So, those are what to expect from the channel in the next couple of, of weeks. So let me know in the comments what you want me to review. Anyways, your girl, peace out. My love. Have a great week. Bye.